Hello everyone and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we're all about things tech. Continuing with our 10 minutes with Linux. Today we're having a quick look at Sparky Linux version 2020.02. Sparky Linux claim to fame is being a lightweight distribution for newer and older PCs uh, based on the bullseye testing branch of Debian Linux. Uh, it comes in three different flavors or more actually. There are ones that ship with LXDE, LXQT, and the Mate uh, graphic user interfaces. Today we're having a look at the Sparky Linux release with LXQT, a very lightweight distribution. Dust off those old PCs if you have them. You're sitting in the garage in the closet gathering dust, those old Pentium 4 dual cores and core to dual machines and uh, this is the Linux for you, or maybe the Linux for you, to make those old machines productive again. So let's take a quick look. This is post-installation. One thing I like about Sparky Linux is the installation uses the Calmaris installer, which makes things absolutely simple and easy to install an operating system. On top of that, right after you boot into your new system, it asks you to perform updates right away. And the updates were about 540 megs when I did start it. So let's take a quick look. This is the desktop right after boot up. And we can see that Sparky Linux does ship with a number of, of, of applications. And we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, right clicking anywhere on the desktop, a very stark desktop, brings up this uh, small selection of things you can do. Here we have desktop preferences. We can select a wallpaper image, no real time. <laughs> display of images here but it's okay we can select the desktop background icon size I've increased the font size for those who had issues uh, with my video it is recorded at 1440p and I've increased the font size significantly hopefully if uh, you still want me to make some adjustments please in the comment section uh, we can have uh, image slideshow for wallpaper as well we can have a, a number of wallpapers in a folder and it will create a slideshow and we could have advanced now this is a very stark desktop if I want to have a few key icons on the desktop, it's quite easy to just put them there as such. And uh, of course, we have another selection there, of course. Let's go down to the panel now. The XQT panel, we can configure the panel. We have a few things we can do with it. We can change the size, uh, where it is, its alignment, its position. Is it auto hiding after what time and whatnot? The basic things. We could also deal with widgets. Widgets are these on over here and also this is a widget as well so for example if I select the world clock which is this widget right here that says 1214 presently is my time and I can move it along the bar very quickly to arrange it the way I want I actually uh, enjoy um, Linux distributions that come looking vanilla out of the box because you can really um, change it to how you want it and uh, your style a style isn't decided for you let's take a quick look at the applications that ship we have a file manager looks quite simple and it is but very functional PC man FM dash QT version 0.14.1 so that will take care of your file management duties again using the same file manager we can view our network connections as well and computer they're all using the same file manager very extensive very nice we have our trash which is good we, we remember we put that on the desktop and here we have the update manager okay which will automatically go out and give us uh, notifications if there are updates available once again uh, my uh, way that I do things is they're updated out of the box right after installation so I don't have to go through that I don't have to bore people with the updates but just to show you that Sparky Linux does have a very functional update manager installed and it's right here on the right side we have our network manager we can modify add connections and whatnot we have our notification manager which shows us notifications we can clear them if we want to as we've done there and then it disappears but if more notification comes up it will pop up here we have the attached storage manager removable media I should say uh, tells you what to do when the device is connected so we show the info for example and here we have our slider for our sound if I right click then we can actually go into our configure volume 
and we can so choose whether we want Alsa or Pulse Audio. By default, uh, Sparky Linux does enable Pulse Audio, at least in this edition. And here we can show all, win show all the desktop if we have a lot of uh, windows open. And here we have the usual uh, calendar with world clock and we can make check our time zones and we can uh, change whatever we want to do within that. Let's look at the applications that, sh that uh, ship with Sparky Linux. Of course we have two virtual screens, one and two. Let's go into our menu. We cannot access our menu, at least in this version, by right clicking. We have to use the menu button here. And here we, let's look, accessories, we have Featherpad. All these applications are extremely lightweight. And I have to tell you, the system is absolutely responsive. I could imagine on real hardware, even an older machine, um, especially with the addition of an SSD, um, which I believe is the number one, <laughs> next to more RAM. Actually, I think it's even more important, the uh, number one upgrade for older machines to add an SSD drive. So we have the LXQT file, man, file archiver, straight from the LXQT developers, I suppose. Um, we have uh, passwords and keys, password manager, uh, clipper, clipboard tool, which I love. I use it on all my platforms. Text info. Very good. We have uh, XF burn, which is uh, if you're still burning CDs and whatnot. Excuse me. We have our calculator for education with LibreOffice. LibreOffice is installed by default which is a great thing. For graphics, we have LX Image, LibreOffice, again, we take eight screenshots, we have a scanning program, and we have something to view um, our cameras, for example. So, webcam viewer. For internet, Firefox is the default uh, web browser. I have no issues with that at all. It's so easy to install others. HexChat, Download Manager, we have Thunderbird Mail, which I love, and BitTorrent. Whoever uses BitTorrent still. LibreOffice, the full suite looks like it's installed, which is good. There's been some other lightweight distributions that install only a subset of the suite, but here we have the full suite, and we have a PDF viewer installed by default, which I like. Icon browser, sound and video, we have pulse audio, uh, volume control, which I've shown before. So here we are. Uh, continuing, we have um, a few other applications, VLC, XF Burn again, and a few other things. Um, audio player and universal access we have the virtual keyboard for preferences LXQT settings and it goes into a lot of different things we can select here we have our disk manager and uh, shows us our disk usage and we can mount or unmount and get information on our disks that are on our system Firewall configuration, keyboard and mouse, print settings, screensaver, synaptic package, manager. Now, this is also we have about LXQT, which will show us we're using LXQT version 0.14.1. So that's just to confirm. And I'm just looking through a few things here. For those who can't read that, that is even small on my screen. I apologize. I apologize. Um, it ships with a very up-to-date kernel, kernel 5.4.19-1, 5.4.19-1. Uh, so in terms of hardware support, it should be pretty up-to-date with a lot of the newer machines out there. So this can, uh, I'm liking this, I like this. I mean, it hasn't dethroned MX Linux as my favorite right now, or Manjaro, but it's up there. It's definitely in my top 10. Um, and we have different things. We have a live USB creator, so we can create a live create a live USB of our running system, which is fantastic. And we have a few other things. We have time shift. Now, time shift is a great utility for backing up your system in such a way that you can restore it if you have, for example, fail drives or um, catastrophic system failure or whatever. So we can create system sna snapshots, preferably not on the drive uh, that all of this is installed on it would be on a NAS um, somewhere on your in your network or somewhere else uh, not local to this actual machine so time shift is a great addition as well what I'm seeing here is that uh, out of the box it's pretty good I mean um, installing applications that use a synaptic 
very easy to find and install applications. And uh, if you're familiar with Synaptic, it's it's uh, it's quite easy to use. If not, if if somewhat cryptic to some people, but and there's our time limit. If if not cryptic for some people, but Synaptic is still absolutely powerful in what it does. It is a Debian-based release, so the inclusion of Synaptic seems like. Uh, <laughs> We just do something here and here we can install for example the chromium web browser very simply uh then still in, in the inclusion of synaptic is a no-brainer it's also something that you're going to see in a debian based release so really quickly what we've seen with uh, the sparky linux is a linux distribution that out of the box runs fantastically with respect to speed it is based on debian testing um, definitely uh, given that it uses uh, Debian testing, you're going to have more up-to-date package than, for example, Debian stable. Now, testing doesn't mean that it is inherently unstable. Unstable, sorry. It just means that your packages are more cutting edge and there is more quote-unquote potential for issues. But realistically, in daily activity, I haven't seen much using Debian testing. Uh, Debian is still, Debian testing repositories are still more stable than a lot of other distributions stable quote-unquote repositories I would give Sparky Linux a definite recommendation for those who want something it's particular for older machines I can look at Sparky Linux as a savior for older machines that have no other use and now that can become a completely viable and uh, productive workstation so that's my quick 10 minutes with Linux with Sparky Linux version 2020.02 second release for the year of 2020 and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please make comments below. And if you'd like me to look in another Linux distribution in this series, again, 10 Minutes with Linux does not pretend to be a comprehensive overview and look at a Linux distribution. It just shows you out of the box what you can expect. So really thank you for being here. That's another alarm. There we go. Got to go. And I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about us. And we'll see you soon.